Hello, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're gonna to be making some chocolate bark and we're gonna need some chocolate bars. I'm using 70% dark chocolate. You can use any kind of chocolate that you like. And I'm gonna be using some dried cherries or you can use any kind of dried fruit. And some various types of nuts and I picked some pecans and some almonds or you can use any kind you want or you could use seeds also like those little pepitas or some flax seeds or whatever. Um, now when you do use the nuts it's really good if you toast them first in the oven. It just makes it have a better taste. I did buy the almonds that are already roasted so I'm not gonna worry about those but I am going to toast my pecans and I'm gonna show you everything so let's get started. I actually ended up using a little bit more nuts than they called for because I did three quarter cup of the pecans plus a few handfuls of the almond as you'll see. And I folded the paper to fit the pan. Try to spread the nuts out pretty evenly and bake on the middle rack of the oven at 350 degrees for about six to nine minutes. So you want to microwave your chocolate I did one minute at a time at 50% power. The recipe says do 30 uh, second increments at full power. I prefer to do one minute increments at 50% power. And then you stir each time you take it out. Just set the finished toasted pecans aside to cool off. And you want to keep doing your chocolate at one minute increments at 50% power. Stir in between each one. And stop when the chocolate looks like it's about 90% melted. Because once you get to that 90%, just stirring is going to melt it the rest of the way. So we're not quite there yet. And on the very last one, it went a little too far and it's a little runny. So I decided to set it aside for a little while just to let it get a little bit thicker rather than pouring it right away. And I'm spreading out the paper once more. So just in case the chocolate is a little too runny, it won't run off the edge of the paper. It, you're supposed to spread it out to it's about a quarter inch thick. It's kind of hard to judge, but just sort of eyeball it and try to spread it out evenly. And adding the quarter cup of dried fruit, I actually ended up doing a little more. Then you're supposed to let it sit out to cool off for two to four hours or if you're in a hurry, put it in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. So I left mine out for about one hour and then I was running out of time so I did put it in the refrigerator at that point. And as you can see, it's now just right. Then I'm layering it into a tin in between layers of wax paper.
Thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope you enjoy the chocolate bark if you chose to make some of your own. Have a great week. See you next time. Bye.